Alright guys, welcome back to another Dragonair video. In this video, I want to talk about <clears throat> what you should do in other world exploration to bump up your scores. So, this is a, uh, well, it's not called score, but to bump up your exploration progress so you can get this uh, Echo of Clepstra, right? You need this thing to have higher rank in the seasonal reset, which is uh, this one, Clepstra uh, something trail. So on this account, this is actually uh, not a uh, day one server. This server is actually 14 days behind. By the way, I really don't like that. I think all the servers should start and finish at the same time. Well, not start at the same time, but at least all the servers should finish in the same time. That's my opinion. All right, so at the moment I record this video, I'm number one and I have a significant lead compared to the second place. And I wasn't number one i was like top five before the other world exploration starts and now i suddenly jumped to number one why right? because i was prepared for it like i was preparing for it one month uh, ahead right what's this okay anyways um <laughs> with that being said uh please don't say it to be uh whale only right the way you're gonna prepare this is you're gonna prepare at least six teams, six teams, right? That's not a secret. Everybody knows there are six affinities and these bosses are gonna randomly spawn. By the way, again, I don't like randomly spawn mechanic. I think they should just put all six boss out there so people can challenge them whenever they want. Maybe that will be the case the next season because a lot of develop uh, a lot of content creators already provide feedback to the developers, all right? So, but for season one, that's the case. The boss just randomly spawned. And <clears throat> if you want to at least keep up in the score, seasonal score, what you need to do is at least six teams. That's not a secret anymore. But I will say if you are a low spender, right? If you're free to play or low spender, I think what you can do is prepare at least eight teams. I think that's totally doable. Uh, there are certain factions where there are a lot of Good epic champion, even rare champion, right? I know some facts, uh, some affinity might dif might be difficult, especially poison, my least favorite affinity. But some affinities out there, even if you're a low spender or free to play, it's definitely possible to build a second team because it's really not that hard since uh, the developers add a feature here, saved team, which you can just save all the equipment gear here. Um, it's just all, all you take is one click. You can switch the gear from the first team to the second team. All right, so now let's talk about the whale stuff. Why all of a sudden I jump from top five to number one with a massive lead. <clears throat> that is because this is a whale account and I prepared 12 teams. Think about this. I prepared 12 teams for other world exploration. And to be honest, Maybe on this whale account, I can do more than 12 teams. That's actually insane. I'm thinking like, since I have all the characters, I can actually do a third team for wild because there are so many good wild champions. Like I am using all the legendary wild heroes and I haven't used any epic ones, but maybe, except to Tonalan. But I, can, I think on this account, I can definitely do a third wild team, but um, like, for this um, save team feature, it only allows 15 teams. So if they increase this slot, I will try to build a third team maybe next season. But for now, with 15 teams, it's impossible to build a third team uh, in the same affinity. But that's basically the mindset. A lot of a lot of people, like even the, I see most of people, they only build one team for each affinity, and. And I think that's fine. That's totally fine because that's, I would say 99% people do, right? Just build one team of each affinity. You should be able to keep up the score uh, just as when the other lead world exploration starts. But if you try to build more than six teams, you will start to see a significant jump on your scores because the challenging those bosses actually gives you so much scores, right? Like, uh, so let's talk about the score system. If you go to the 
this elemental domain, challenging the stage 5 will give you 500 of this progress, right? But if you are challenging the boss, if you are able to hit the 7 million mark, which I think it's totally doable without any legendary, you will get 800 of that progress. That would just make it so much more valuable compared to the elemental domain. So what you should do is uh, just finish the daily quest the ele elemental domain once and complete this uh, seasonal quest, right? And then you're gonna try to do the boss, right? Just try to do the boss. Uh, if it's 3 million, it's not really worth it since it's only 400 progress. But once you hit that 7 million mark, you're gonna get 800 progress, right? It start to become much, much more valuable. And, and I think, again, for low spender or free to play, there are two factions. I think it's totally possible to build a second team without any legendary, right? The first one is wild. Since you get a free legendary here, right? You can make a team with Erich and uh, Tunalim, right? And maybe another wild champion from the epic, Rarity. And there are so many wild uh, epic champions in this faction. Maybe this guy, another wild, another wild, right? So I think it's totally doable to build two teams from fire fact affinity, right? If you have any legendary wild character, that would be better, right? So it's totally okay to, to pick six DPS, maybe five to six DPS uh, for wild teams so you can build two teams. This is the first affinity that is totally doable. Uh, for ice, it's really, really difficult to build a second team. Even though I have all the characters, like I was, yeah, it, it's very difficult. Ice, I, I don't recommend to build a second team on ice. And Necrosis, again, if you don't have any legendary, it's very, very difficult to build a second team. But you should be no issue hitting at least 11 million with Epic Champion only. This faction, the summoning, has pretty decent damage, right? So, yeah, I think for this faction, if you have decent legendary, you can try to go for the second team. But if you don't have legendary, um, it's highly not likely you can get a second team. And for Radiance, uh, again, if you have a Filto, both Filto and Huberg, I think you can go for two teams. Just uh, split them up in terms of damage, right? Uh, on my account, it's pretty easy to, to build a uh, two teams from this faction. I think like this guy, melee DPS, it's pretty solid. And there are a lot of rally character, but again, uh, like I think with epic only, you're probably gonna struggle a little bit to hit the 22 million mark. So again, for this one, for this faction, uh, probably not likely you're gonna build a second team if you are not like at least a mini well. Like honest opinion, all right? Then we have Dauntless. Again, this is the faction. I think you have the potential to build a second team because every single epic Dauntless DPS is good. I'm just gonna say it straight up. Um, yeah. How many Dauntless DPS do we have here? Actually, quite a lot, right? Quite a lot of Dauntless Epic DPS. Like, all the Dauntless Epics are good. If you can have just one legendary Dauntless DPS, doesn't matter which one, you should be totally fine with a second team, all right? Uh, one thing to note is there are a lot of uh, melee DPS on, on the Dauntless, right? Uh, when you're building two teams on Dauntless, try to split up the melee DPS and range DPS. Because uh, melee DPS, they stack together and they just get one shot together. That's not a good thing, right? So, <clears throat> yeah. And for poison, poison sucks. I'm just going to say it. Uh, just don't even bother trying to go for a, for a second team. Uh, if you can hit like 22 million mark on, the, on your first team, I think you are probably better than 90% of players out there. That's just the current state of poison. So, overall, just to sum things up, I think the two affinities that you should definitely try to go for the second team is Fire and Dauntless. Wild and Dauntless. These two, I think it's totally possible, even if you're not a pay to win player, to build two teams. And even if you're a complete low spender, your second team should easily hit the 7, seven million mark. 
it should be so easy. 7 million mark with fire or dauntless. Like if you have decent gear, hitting 11 million should be no issue. Right? And if you have some decent legendary character, you should be able to do two teams, both both teams hitting the 22 million. It should be no issue. Alright, so <clears throat> just to go through my current team composition. Um like I said, I built 12 teams, but it doesn't mean all 12 teams are capable of hitting 22 million. Um, the teams that I wasn't able to... Uh, so, this is a pay to win account, right? All first, second teams, uh, sorry, all, all six first teams were able to do 22 million. My second teams that are not able to do well, the first one is Poison. I didn't even to bother to build them up, so actually I only have... 11 teams right now but i'm gonna farm up the goblin and see how this team performs you can see the second team uh is still pretty pay to win with those inspirations right uh the first team super super pay to win can just barely hit around 30 million right with this type of inspiration on any other affinity should easily hit like 60 million a poison just kind of sucks another second team i wasn't able to do very well is ice because the ice second team, it's actually really, really challenging. Like those DPS are like really AOE DPS. They don't have, they don't provide single target DPS. So this team can barely hit 7 million, unfortunately. All right. So uh, if you're building the second team or other war exploration, the real challenging part is the ice and poison. All right. Um, yeah. I think if you try to build your second team, you are you will really really see a bump up on those uh seasonal scores because it helps massively right you don't have to do the the elemental domain which is so annoying they don't have the multi battle feature you have to manually click this right and of course the daily quest is super annoying um yeah i guess that's that's gonna be it for this video just giving you guys a quick tip right uh please don't say this is pay to win like i explained in this video i think even if you're a low spender or, or free to play, building a second wild team at least is 100% possible. All right, it's 100% possible, and you can switch the gear from the first team to the second team with one click. And on your second wild team, you should have no problem hitting seven million at least. All right, so hope you guys find this video useful, and I'll see you guys in the video soon. Bye.